Arthur's First Day is the penultimate Arthur special I have to watch. I do have about 50 postcards from Buster left to watch, but in terms of actual Arthur episodes and specials, this is the penultimate one, and I kind of wish I'd left this till last, had I known how amazing it was. This is actually the very last Arthur special that was released. It was released a few months before the final season, and released in uh, 2021. And this one is all about... Arthur and Buster and everybody else going into the fourth grade and DW going into kindergarten. And initially I thought, I don't really know how I'm going to feel about this. It's going to feel really weird with them going up a year. But actually, it's pretty incredible. It's about an hour in length. And what we have are various problems from different perspectives. And I'll go into a tiny bit of detail about this. But I don't want to go into too much detail. I don't want to give away too much. But just to give you an idea of the kind of things that you can expect. But I will say the first thing that I think is absolutely brilliant is that everybody, including Mr. Ratburn, everybody is wearing a different outfit. Which, yeah, new 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 school year, new outfit, makes sense. But it is kind of weird and it took a, a, a couple of minutes to get used to it. The brain's outfit I really liked. We only get a tiny glimpse of the brain. But they all have different clothes on, which I thought was a, a really nice touch and helped to make it seem like a different school year. And the big problem is that Buster and Arthur are in separate classes. They're in separate fourth grade classes and obviously they're both devastated by this. And it's about them getting used to this and having to make new friends. And I really like the message that came about with this. I might discuss that with a spoiler warning to kind of explain what that message was. But I think that that part of it unfolded really well. There's also a mystery element where Buster and his new friend find some clues. And they have to try and work out what these clues mean. And one of the clues I thought was immediately obvious. Um, and I don't know if it's obvious to everybody or if it's just the way my mind works. But I... I feel like things were revealed at a really good rate and I was really curious to see what the outcome would be. So even if the rest of it hadn't been interesting, which it was, that mystery element gave the narrative another dimension that helped to move things along. Muffy uh, and Francine are being big buddies, which means that they're looking after um, the kindergartners. I did that. I did that at that age. And had I seen this episode first, I wouldn't have done. Because something goes really terribly wrong with Muffy and it definitely would have put me off. And hopefully it won't put other, other people off of it because I think the buddy system is such a, a great way to help younger children settle in, to get to know the school better. In the kindergarten class, DW uh, is obviously not really looking forward to it. She's very nervous and, and worries that she just belongs in pre-K. But actually it's not DW who has the problems in kindergarten. And I won't say which character it is, but... It definitely surprised me. It's not what I was expecting. And I really felt for that character. I feel like that character, more than any others, embodies the anxieties of starting, you know, a new job, a new school class that first day. And I feel like they are the character that would be the most relatable, that would provide the most reassurance. And I thought that that worked very well really thoroughly enjoyable episode as I said I wasn't sure how I'd feel with them being in fourth grade but I really liked it I'm pleased this wasn't you know something that happened in the middle of a season and then they aged up during the show but as a one-off I really quite liked it so a spoiler from now I think I'll discuss the mystery element so I'm going to reveal what um, the actual outcome of that was so this is obviously a big spoiler but the, the clue that I worked out immediately was the acrostic and I just feel like a lot of mysteries, um, particularly in cartoons, in corporate acrostics at some point. So whenever I see a written note, the first thing I do is scan the letters on the left-hand side. And that happened to be the case with this one. It took quite a long time between that clue and the actual resolution. Um, the John Dunn clue, though, I feel like was actually a little bit too complicated and actually not something the tough customers would have done. But then again, they do occasionally surprise me with their personalities. So who's to say? But I do feel like it was a little bit out of character and also a little bit too difficult. I don't know many 
eight or nine year olds who are aware of the works of John Donne. So I find that was a little bit unbelievable. But if that's the worst thing about this episode, then it's doing well. Um, what the tough customers actually did, I thought was a, a lovely thing and, and a really nice way of um, uh, of bringing together the, these students. What I will say is, do they not have janitors to clean out the classrooms during the summer holidays? Why was Buster's mouldy sandwich still there? Do they not, do the janitors or the cleaners not clean the classrooms during the summer break? Um, I'm obviously overthinking this. These are tiny things that are completely irrelevant and things the target audience probably won't even think of. Nevertheless, all of that aside, Arthur's first day was really enjoyable. I didn't know what to expect, but what we got was pretty awesome and I really thoroughly enjoyed it.